Derek. Derek has a problem. Now, I'm making this video about my ex-friend. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And everything that I'm saying is alleged. Heavy on the alleged. Welcome to the documentary. Derek. Derek has a problem. Let's talk about Derek's childhood. Derek was born April 12th, 1994, which also happens to be my dad's birthday. He's an Aries. Derek was born to his mother and father in Georgia. Not sure about the timeline, but after some time, Derek's father left. And after a little bit of time, Derek's mother moved on to his stepdad, and they had his half-sister. Now, Derek's stepdad, according to him, wasn't too fond of him. He was very abusive. He abused his mother, and he abused Derek. But he didn't abuse his half-sister. Derek resents his mother because she allowed it. But she was being abused as well. I spoke with Derek's mother, you know, and, and needed to really understand his childhood. She explained to me, you know, well, according to her side, everything wasn't really true, what Derek said. No, I'm not gonna take from a victim standpoint. Do I believe Derek? Hmm. Hmm. Derek has his ways of making himself look like the complete victim in every situation he's in. But I do believe a lot of the things he said. His mother told me, you know, she had to do what she had to do for her kids. And I can respect that. Derek, on the other hand, he does it. Now, the abuse was physical. Derek stated that his stepfather would fight him like he was a grown man from as far back as he could remember. He also stated how he always felt like his mother didn't want him. Like he was always in the way, he was a burden, he was a problem. Which is really sad. Derek would also mention that he felt like his mom just really wanted male validation. Now, his mom was adopted and knowing that, I can really understand that wanting love, wanting to feel needed and wanted after being adopted. So she is heavily dependent on male attention. Derek's mother also mentioned to me that they had a lot of financial issues growing up. She didn't really go into detail, and Derek doesn't really go into detail on this portion, but based on what she said in his childhood photos, it looks like maybe they were in between homes and may have had issues getting resources at a couple times here or there, which is understandable, which explains a lot of the characteristics of Derek. I will also insert these photos so you guys can really see what I see. I would always grasp what Derek would say, but having the photos really has given me the clarity that I needed. Moving on to Derek's teenage years. At this time, Derek was still going through a lot with his family and his stepfather. The abuse had continued. And sports, according to Derek, was heavily pushed on him. He had to be involved in sports. As you can see here, Derek was a football player. I believe he told me he was a linebacker. Can't really remember. He told me this story. He said in high school at a game, I believe it was his teammate, he injured Derek and he injured Derek so severely. 
Derek states that he knocked him on the ground and stumped him in his back almost to the point where he could have paralyzed him. After this incident, Derek had surgery. He was in physical therapy, I believe he said for over a year. It was very traumatic. I'm not sure why the kid would do this to Derek. I'm not sure of the relationship. He doesn't really elaborate on this story. He would just tell me how the kid injured him. And that's it. How would your mind wonder about what this relationship dynamic could have been between the two? Now that you know a little bit about Derek's childhood. To touch on some of Derek's relationships in high school, he told me very little about this, but the knowledge that I do have, he stated he would be in relationships and he would cheat on the girls and he would have no remorse. He always stated he didn't understand why he would do it and why he would hurt people, women especially, but he just did. Every single relationship that he had in high school, he cheated on the girl. He lost his virginity to one girl. I believe he said they were together for two years and he proceeded to cheat on her. Now that high school is over, at some point, Derek moves down to North Carolina. And into his adulthood, this is where he begins working in pest control. As mentioned in chapter one, I'd be inserting pretty much a slideshow of some pictures of Derek and his childhood, just so you can really put together the pictures with the story. Chapter two. Why am I making this video? You may be wondering, what's the point? Well, at this time, me and Derek are no longer friends. We had a very heated argument, pretty much, a few days ago. And in this conversation, he said something that really bothered me. I was giving him some advice that really helped me in my 30s. And I thought it'd be very beneficial for him in his 30s. But he told me, how could you give advice when your life isn't together? Hmm. So I said to him, and I quote, you don't really know about my life too much. And he said, you don't know about me either. And here we are. I'm making this video because I know so much about this man, so much. And for closure, what I presume to be closure because I have no doubts that he'll be back. But I really wanted to take a deep dive and make a documentary so I can understand and put all the pieces together. Going through his childhood, teenage years, our relationship, and the things I've learned about his characteristics, how he carries himself, etc. I also want to vent. Vent a lot. And during this process, I'm really trying to understand why do I keep allowing this person back into my life? Yeah, of course, I can say he's very similar to my father. I mean, very similar. It's kind of creepy, actually. But I really want to take a deep dive because he really had the nerve to say that I don't know him. So I know you a little, a little too well. And that's why I constructed this documentary. I really want to heal from this situation. I do. I'm going to also talk about what I learned. By a psychologist? No. To have any background in psychology? Absolutely not. But this 
This right here is very intriguing to me because I'm truly trying to understand this man. Chapter three, what makes Derek, Derek? Now that we've reviewed pretty much his entire life, let's break it down. Starting with the relationship with his mother, his sister, it's non-existent. As stated earlier, Derek resents his mother. Derek also has a really hard time opening up. He doesn't really talk much about what he's been through. And he shuts down and he feels cornered. Some very important things you should know about him. He doesn't date within his race. Now that I have the information that I have, I understand that's because of the heavy resentment towards his mother. He does, however, date outside of his race. Does he treat those women any better? Absolutely not. He still treats them like he treats his mother. Why that may be, your guess is as good as mine. But at the same time, I just feel like he doesn't like women at all. He despises women. If you remember from his childhood, I stated that his father left. His father wanted nothing to do with him. Nothing. And you know what? This last year, he's forgiven his father. You know, I did give him the advice that he should fix things with his father. Really try to understand his side of the story as well as his deconstructed and reconstruct a relationship. And he's done just that. He forgave this man in a snap. It's very easy for him to forgive his father, even though his father abandoned him. Forgive his mother? Absolutely not. His mother never abandoned him. Yes, she did some things that were terrible, that hurt Derek. But she never abandoned them. Ever. Back in February, I had Derek do the attachment style test. I knew he had avoiding attachment, but I just needed proof. So, Here's his results. He has a buoyant attachment. No. A little bit of information about a buoyant attachment. A child develops when their parent or caregiver doesn't show any care or responsiveness past providing essentials, food and shelter. The child disregards their own struggles and needs in order to maintain peace and keep their parent close by. The child will still struggle and feel anxiety and sadness, but they'll do so by themselves. And they deny the importance of those feelings. This attachment style can affect a person in childhood, and especially it will impact their romantic relationships, friendships, and other connections. The parental behaviors typically include not responding when a baby or child cries, discouraging crying, not outwardly showing emotional reactions to issues or achievements, making fun of the child's problem, showing annoyance at the child experiencing a problem, avoiding touch or physical contact. This information can be found at webmt.com. And I'd also like to mention that the website states the parent can have some issues like they may be very young and experienced or have mental illness. And it also states avoidant attachment styles can be due to adoption. And we do know that his mom was adopted, so this sounds like a very inherited attachment style. There are some signs and characteristics you will find in someone with avoiding attachment. These are all the characteristics that I see within Derek. So avoid physical touch, 
never really asked for help. Weird eating patterns, trouble showing feelings or emotions, discomfort with physical closeness and touch. I remember a lot of times like touching him would be really finicky or respond like I was about to strike him. Uh, accusing their partner of being too clingy or overly attached. I get that all the time. When I'm just trying to be friendly or kind, he says I'm doing too much. Uh, refusing help or emotional support. He does have hyper independent. He doesn't want help from anybody. He refuses help. He fears that closeness to a partner will cause him to get hurt whenever a friendship is at a certain point. He will disengage and cut me off. Sense of personal independence and freedom is more important, important than their partnership. Mm -hmm. Not relying on their partner during times of stress and not letting their partner rely on them. Chapter 5, My Relationship with Derek. I met Derek in the summer of 2022. We met on Plenty of Fish. I would not recommend using the website. When we met, I was just getting over a situation ship that was heavily toxic. And I wasn't interested in Derek at all. I was like, eh, he looks goofy. But I matched with him. When we started talking, he would say some inappropriate things, but I brushed it off because he was the only guy who could keep a conversation. And that's what I needed. I needed conversation. After talking on the app for about a few weeks, we exchanged phone numbers and we used the app Marco Polo. We sent each other's videos all day, every day. We texted all day, eventually until we met up. As you can see, I ignored a couple of red flags, inappropriate talking, and I planned the date. So I planned for us to go see the black phone, I think it's called, and accidentally planned us to go too early. So he came over and asked to use the restroom. 
and he I feel like he tried to stay in and then the next red flag he didn't open the door for me and so we ended up driving around because we were too early for the movies and his car the indicator light came on he's like oh no I don't know how far my car is going to go because we're going to go to lunch we ended up going back to my house he did buy me lunch but things did get hot and heavy and I was trying to avoid it but I let in so our relationship became that I tried really hard to redo our first date and every time he made excuses he would ghost he would stop talking he told me his mother had cancer and his sister was in a car accident so he had to go home to Georgia and this was each time we would schedule the date something happened this next part you can probably guess it gonna make the dates but he could come over for a fun time I just allowed it I ended up with it so this was our routine and the next thing was we planned to do a sleepover I got a little bit too much intoxicated but we had a great time he stayed the night in the morning he stayed he couldn't sleep Whatever. and he was supposed to come back later that day because we are going to do an at home date he ghosted me I did go crazy I blew up his phone blew up the Marco Polos I was just going wild I was crying I was hurt I thought something happened to him nothing until I heard from him and he blamed me for what happened but I allowed him back in and this would be a repeated pattern he stayed around for a while ghost cry get upset come back around eventually I figured out the pattern and I stopped acting out as much I was still act out here or there this pattern has cycled for the last two years. And as I said in the beginning, we were supposed to be dating. And then after that, didn't go anywhere because he, he's never willing to do the work. We just kept repeating the patterns. No. As pictured, he did buy me flowers and chocolate once. To make it up to me. Then after a while, once he um, realized he didn't just have to a, uh, E minor him, pentatonic scales, um, he would stop just doing, doing it to a like uh, E minor backing track guitar rhythm. Um, and I'm just gonna write mm -hmm. a little lead to it and jam around cool. and uh, have some fun. Then he brought it to um, my house so I didn't actually go. We've here, never we'll see. been anywhere together. He was taking me on drives. And um, I still allowed it. Up until this point, he has told me he hasn't been with anyone else. How we were together. And you know, he was thinking, I'm actually going to insert a video of him explaining what he thinks I like. After a time and time again, he finds my friends. I think so, the world. So, I got this is a 2008 Pontiac G6 GXT. Um, it's completely stock. The only thing I've done is just darken the windows out. Um, it's got 80,000 miles on it. Um, really well taken care of. I take care of it. Um, I keep it clean as much as possible. Um, it's got 18 inch alloy wheels on it. It's a 3.6 liter V6, putting at about 260 horsepower. Um, six speed automatic. And it also has um, the manual motor where you can shift it yourself. 
as well. I mean, we don't have to. Um, we don't have to do anything uh, with her. I mean, it almost seems like you were like testing me to see, you know, what I was gonna do. Like, if, was, uh, if you know, basically, like if I was gonna pick y'all up or not. And um, but I just feel like I just feel like it was a test. I feel like now that how you said that, like, oh well. You'll go out of your way for my friend, even though I'm not going out of way for nobody. I you asked me to pick y'all up and to bring you back to y'all's your house because if you're going to be drinking and you want to have fun, I mean. But at this point, I'm like, I don't know if you really truly want to have us, you know, or you know, with me, you, and her, um, because. The response I just got from you, like, like I, sometimes it's so confusing because it's like, you want, you say you don't want certain things with me. You like you, you say you don't want me seriously. You don't want that. You, you just want me to have please you that way of you know, good and you know. And, and it's like I do that, and I've tried to. You know, just do exactly what you say you want. But I think deep down inside, you feel a totally different way. You just don't want to come out and say it. Or you just you just think that, okay, well, you know, Derek doesn't want that. So I'm just going to at least use, use them for what I got. And, you know, at least I'm getting my, my rocks off because... We have, so I don't I, like, I, like I think deep down inside, like you want, you want the kids, you want the, the husband, you want the, you want the family, you want the white picket fence. I think in reality, like, if it was up to you, you wouldn't have, you you wouldn't even want to share, theoretically. I mean, because the comment that you just made. So I don't want you to try to please me even more just by us having and having fun but deep down inside you really don't want that like I I don't know, like you, you're not I've, you're not forced to do anything you know and I've never been a pushy type towards you when it comes to anything like that so I just feel like now like it's you know you kind of would be in a screwed up like a head space situation because now you feel like oh well, I mean, he's going to go out of his way for my friend, but theoretically, I was, it's nothing against your friend. It's nothing even for, I mean, that has nothing to do with her. I was just going to pick y'all up. If that, you know, because you're like, oh, just make it happen for her. You even said that last night, but now today, it's like something totally different. So, I mean, we just, we don't even have to do that. We, we don't, we don't even have to bring anybody else in the bedroom. We don't have, I don't, you don't have to share. You don't have to worry about me doing it with somebody else. Nothing like that. Because I just feel now that your true feelings are you don't want to, you, know, you just, yeah. Your head is, you know, you, you, what you're telling me, you really want the opposite of, you know, having a, a steady guy in a, a relationship and, you want marriage one day, and you want the kids, and, you know, I mean, it's just, I don't know why you just don't say it, you know, just, just say it, I mean, if, you know, I just, just, just be honest, that's it, that's all I ask, you know, I mean, it, it, sometimes you have to, you can't think about that, you know, just because we, we have a good connection with, like, just, you know, don't think about that, you know, do you think about, like, okay, okay, well, outside of that, what would me and Derek have, you know, do you think about that, that's the things you gotta, that's the things you have to ask yourself, or even say, so, I don't know, I just wanted to throw that out there, because I'm like, now I don't, you know, I don't want it to make it even more complicated, like, if we did have, there's that, but as of recent, Derek has flipped the entire narrative, Apparently, we never were dating. We never started dating. 
this has only been an intimate relationship, no friendship. We apparently have nothing in common. Nothing. So, I'm still processing everything. This video has taken a lot out of me. In conclusion, I feel like this situation needs to end fully. I'm physically and emotionally exhausted from the turmoil of everything. I just can't deal with it anymore. So yep, yeah, the situation is done. I hope you enjoyed the roller coaster which has been pretty much the last two years of my life with him. And if you want further details, maybe I'll have a more detailed story. But right now, that's just too much. <laughs>